The 2007 Ankara bombing was a suicide attack that occurred in Ankara, the capital of Turkey, on the 22nd of May 2007. Six people were reported killed, including one of Pakistani origin, and 121 people were wounded. A seventh person died from his injuries on 7 June and another on 17 June raising the death toll to eight. A ninth person died on 4 July from his injuries. The attack the explosion occurred outside the shopping center in the ULU's quarter of Ankara. The police reports suggested of suicide bombing. A Type A4 bomb has been reported as being the cause of the explosion and the Terror and Organized Crime Unit has taken over the investigation. The explosion shattered windows of the shopping center and of nearby buildings creating havoc. The Ankara bombing came as more than 35 world leaders, including the U.S. President, were in Istanbul for a NATO summit that began on Monday, which left tensions high as numerous other incidents have occurred in the run-up to the meeting. It also heightened political tensions between the secular and non-secular parties of Turkey, as both fight for public support and leadership of the nation. The timing of the bombing raised assassination suspicions since General Yazabu Yukonit, General Ilka Bazbug, General Isaac Kosena, General Farouk Kumat, and Admiral Yenikara Hanaglu were to attend the IDEF Defense Fair same day held at the Anatolian Civilizations Museum crossing the blast zone. The suicide bomber was later identified as Guvenakis. Circumstances regarding the explosion of Akis's explosives remains unclear. The police has three competing theories. While moving towards the target suicide bomber Akis panicked when a squad car coincidentally stopped in front of him, leading him to detonate his explosive. Type A4 explosives are sensitive to body temperature so it is possible that the explosives self-detonated while Akis and a collaborator only, identified by her code name, Aisha, panicked after the encounter with the squad car. Collaborator, Aisha, detonated Akis's explosives remotely when Akis panicked. Collaborator, Aisha, is known to have visited a hospital briefly after the bombing and is currently at large. The attack was claimed by the Kurdistan Freedom Falcons, which is believed to be a part of Kurdistan Workers' Party and which PKK has denied.